mentioned way too many times at this table. But, you know, when will the brutality finally lead to some police reform from the ground up? Because clearly, it doesn't matter if it's a white policeman or a black policeman. It is a problem in the police and the policing yeah. itself, you know, seems things don't seem to make sense to people unless it's somebody they can feel or they can recognize. Mm -hmm. But how many times do we have to, do we need to see white people also get beaten before anybody will do anything? I'm not suggesting that. So don't write us and tell me what a, you know, what a racist I am. I'm just asking, is that, is that what people have to see in order to wake up and realize this affects us all? Shalom, all praise going on at Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh, Shai, by Shem Rukh Akadash. The Bologna says, teaches us in the vessel of great millstone. Also, two brothers are the putting on the truth, faithfully, fearlessly feeding the sheep. And two brothers are tuning in, Shalom. And as you saw in that short clip there with Whoopi Goldberg, okay, on the view show that she was talking about, she made a statement saying that, you know, when would things change here in Great Babylon, America? Um, she suggested or just made a, a, a statement talking about the fact that if uh, white people would get beat up, then maybe they would be, be taken serious, you know, of the lives of so-called blacks uh, in this na in this nation. Okay, now we understand that Whoopi Goldberg does not have an understanding of the scriptures and things to come because, you know, when she said that, I mean, it blew up Twitter and social media all day because why well, it came from Whoopi Goldberg. Now, remember, Whoopi Goldberg is one of the pawns for Esau out there and she made a statement today that could very well cost her a career and they may well find a body in a garbage bin somewhere where she conveniently uh, get deleted. Okay, let's go start off with our first precept here. This is the book of Ezekiel 35, starting verse 5, and it says, Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I live, said the Lord, power, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Said thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Now, when you bring out the fire, when you bring out any type of talk about, you know, the the so-called blacks, okay, who's been oppressed, you know, beaten, raped, robbed by Esau and murdered, okay, uh, rising up against these Edomites, okay, these so-called white people, okay, in any kind of way, physical way, you know, there's an uproar about that because see, what Esau has done, he spent billions, if not trillions of dollars in pacifying Jake and making sure, okay, that these prophecies that are going to come true, okay, uh, that Jake does not realize who he is okay or he, who he or she is okay to understand that we're in captivity here in Great Babylon America that these 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 people that that, that, that calls themselves white people are in fact slaves okay the, the bottom rung of the 18 nations that were created okay so much so and so much so uh, uh, vile and abominable to the law that he's going to destroy them okay uh, at the conclusion of 1,000 years of slavery of all these nations in the heavenly kingdom okay and they hate to talk about that so now there's this backlash now going against so because she made a statement about that in which she quickly tried to, uh, uh, to apologize for because knowing what she knows that she's working for these Amalekites these so-called Jewish conglomerates okay who own the media okay and basically they own her okay but they don't own the man of the Lord the Haoshai or Mashiach servants us okay who bring out this truth and prophecy of what is to happen to these Edomites let's go into second Ezra okay if these Edomites think that they're just going to do what they do on the earth okay and in particular the Asherah laws so called blacks and the Americans and Latinos and get away with it that is so far from the truth this is second Ezra 15 and 19 it says for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another they shall not regard their kings nor princes and the cause of action shall stand in their power we got a situation going on right now with the MOTB coming to pass you have a situation going on right now where these banks are going to what merge with the government to create this CD, this, uh, this this digital currency okay you've got the Arabs right now saying hey man we're not going to be using the petrodollar anymore okay so you've got great tribulation that's going to be coming here on Great Babylon America and these so called white people these low class these low level peasants that think there's somebody that's you know got a job and looking down on us okay are going to be put into a situation in which they are now going to do what shared blood their blood is going to be shed okay and they're now are not going to be respecting the kings and this is going to turn into a lot of bloodshed let's continue here it says a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able for because of their pride who's pride who's the proudest okay these Edomites okay 
The city shall be troubled and the houses shall be destroyed and man shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor but shall destroy the houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Well, wait a minute here. Jake has always been at the bottom. Okay, Jake is always experiencing tribulation. This tribulation is supposed to get worse. This is what the Lord is telling us because why? You've got Jacob's trouble, which is Yasharala, a so-called Black Native Americans and Latino. And despite what they say in the media, we are not the minority, we in fact are the majority, okay? Now you've got two thirds of Israel that is to be deleted, okay? And to be reborn into the kingdom. And the Lord has a good way of how he's gonna do it. We're gonna go a little further into this because, okay, all of this action you see going on here in Second Ezra 15, not only is this going to be Jay getting involved in this, okay, this is going to be these Edomites clashing with that, okay? Because I brought to you in the book of Ezekiel 35 and starting with verse 6, it says, Therefore, as I listed the Lord power, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood should pursue thee. Said thou hast not hated blood, even blood should pursue thee. We've known the history of the so-called white man is what? He's a blood shedder, a murderer, okay? And he doesn't, he's not a convicted one, okay? But the Lord is going to be bringing that judgment in the end, okay? So you people, why are you getting offended? Why are you blowing up the social media, typing of, oh, she's racist and all that stuff. This is what's going to take place. You can put your head on the pillow you want all day, you damn Edomites and all the rest of you supporters out there. Okay, a lot of you two-thirds support this. Okay, but guess what? This is what's going to take place. Let's go to the book of Jeremiah 4 and verse 22. And it says... For my people is foolish, they have not known me, they are sort of children, they have no understanding, they are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. And the Lord is talking with these doggone, okay, two-thirds, okay, who are not going to turn back to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. So guess what? The Lord is going give to them, give them into their device, okay? He's going to multiply that wickedness in them just so that he can delete them at the hands of Esau, okay? But is Esau going to be able to just slaughter Jake without any type of collateral damage? Absolutely not. So there's going to be a whole lot of collateral damage because once Jake wake up to the fact that, hey, entertainment is over, Okay, there ain't no job. There ain't gonna be no more free food or free welfare anymore. You're not gonna be in the house anymore. Okay, Esau is not concerned about you anymore because he's looking to establish his new world order. Jake is gonna have no, no have, have no choice but to do what? To do evil. Because why? They're foolish. They don't they don't they don't know you how about Shimia Shai, nor do they care, and it's sordish, okay? Retarded, stupid, okay? But it gets even better because you go into John 8 and starting with verse 44, and it says Ye are of your father, the devil. Who's the devil? A so-called white man, okay? And the loss of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there's no truth in him. This man is a doggone liar, okay? And when you look at Jake, okay, who followed this man ways, because he's starting with these, you know, pulpit pastor, these pork eating pulpit pastor that don't deliver the true prophecy that's going to be befalling here in Great Babylon, America, and particularly on the tribe of Israel, okay? And what let these heathens know that you're going to be destroyed. You are going into slavery. Your end, the end of your world is you know it is drawing now the end of this kingdom is drawing now and that is what the prophets are doing okay we're bringing out the truth and the, the words that the people don't want to hear and it says when he speak it a lie he speak it off his own for he's a liar and the father of it see y'all believe in the lie so guess what these 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 sort of children okay these 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 so-called minorities which are the majorities and outnumber you doggone vile wicked doggone edomites or these so-called white people out there who can't even give birth okay because you're sterile for the most part your women are sterile your men a sterile, okay, and have a limp dick, okay, guess what, you're going to be outnumbered, so it's going to be a slaughter fest, you're going to bring out your guns, Jake couldn't bring out their guns, because Esau has been supplying them with guns to kill and murder each other, so they're well trained in the ghetto to do what, murder each other, so guess what, they're sordish, man, the world, the Lord is going to have their, their, their wickedness turned directly at who, you doggone people, so this is going to take place, and Whoopi Wilberg was not off, or, 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 off, off the rockers, okay, but see, Whoopi Wilberg is not going to go on the highway in the byway and read the scriptures and actually tell us Esau, she, she's going Concerned about a multi-million dollar homes and her cars and, and being praised and worship, okay? But she she's she's got a horrible thing coming for her because guess what? She's sort of sh- okay, and she's a liar and she's a piece of shit. This is the book of Isaiah 19 and 17, and it reads, And the land of Judah shall be a terror unto Egypt. We know this is spiritual Egypt, okay, and Sodom. Everyone that make mention thereof should be afraid of himself because of the counsel of the Lord of hosts, Yahweh Shemashai, host means war. Okay, not a smiling white cracker Edomite that's going to become a pot in the skies and then come and sit down and dine and have beer with you and you go, hey, hey, J- hey, JC. No, no, no. He's a man of war. An angry, angry, big, okay, 13 foot tall so called black bear coming back in, in, in powerful ships, okay? 
which he had determined against it. Okay, so guess what? The Lord of hosts, okay, he's going to come back and he's doing what? He's preparing war against doggone these Edomites, these so-called white people. So guess what? Why are you concerned about what 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 Bill Burr said? You should be concerned with what we're saying because we're telling you what is going to happen to you. You are going to be what? Shedding blood. Here's, here's, here's how it's going to be doing too. Because, see, these Edomites are not concerned with the fact that it's not only going to be Jake that's going to be sharing your blood. Because, see, Jake is, Jake is going to be kicked outside and what else is he going to do? He's, he's got to rob somebody who's got food. Who's got food? The, the so-called white people. Okay? All these other nations that are here. Okay? Now, we're not going to go and talk about the Moabites and the Ammonites and all these other nations that are here. Because a lot of them are going to scatter out but like that. But, they, of, of course, they're part of the collateral damage, too. Because why? They've all been part of that crafty council against the children of Israel. Okay? Our so-called blasphemy Americans and Latino. So, they can get those blood shared, too. But we're talking about you, Dogon's Edomites. This is what this is all about. This is the book of Second Ezra, six, down with verse twenty-two, and it says, "And suddenly shall the sown places be appear on sown. The full storehouses shall suddenly be." Found empty. Oh man, you know, Jake ain't be working for your ass anymore. Once he realized, gee, you know, hey man, I'm a Hebrew Israelite. I'm a king. But see, they saw the shit about that. That's why I see they follow IUIC because the IUIC let them know that they're special and they're king and princess. But at the same time, too, they think walking around French is all there is to it. So they don't want to do the work. They don't want to stop eating pork. They don't change their ways. They want to still be, you know, the kings in Great Babylon, America. Okay? Because they're sawdish. Okay? And this is going to be that snare that's going to grab them. And as it says, and a trumpet shall give a sound, which when every man hear it, they shall be suddenly afraid. Ooh, that sounds like war. That sounds like war. Hey, full storehouses should suddenly be found empty. Those supermarkets getting empty. You know, Jakey. Jakey ain't, Jake ain't going to go in there and try to hide that he's taking no food. Jakey's just going to take the damn shit. He's just going to take it from these doggone little doggone, you know, snotty eyes, fucking doggone uh, gooks and shit walking to their car thinking that their freaking shit don't stink and these damn Edomites. I mean, you crackers in for a whole lot of bad shit to happen to you, okay? And it says, at that time, friends, fight against one another like enemies. So you Edomites are going to fucking fight. You're going to fight. Okay, you're going to fight against each other, okay? And the earth shall stand it in fear with those that dwell within. So this is going to be a global thing. So see, that's a collateral damage right there. All these nations around the earth, okay, that look down on us and go, man, what have y'all created? What have y'all contributed to this earth? Guess what? Y'all going to be clashing against each other. Tokyo is going to be a doggone ghetto real soon. So is doggone Beijing. So is doggone Shanghai, okay? You can go to Dubai, all of them, okay? Washington, D.C. is all going to be a damn ghetto soon because why? They can be grabbing swords and killing each other for what? Food. Okay, and it says, the springs and the fountains shall stand still three hours and they shall not run. Man, people are going to be standing in fear. See, that's a judgment coming from Yahweh by Shimei Shai. Okay, who is, let me sell it to you, is it so, who looks like a so called black man? Okay, the people that you the people that you hate so much, the people that you look and frown upon. Let's close it out here with the book of Ezekiel 25 and 14, because guess what? You think that's all? I mean, this is going to be some judgment that's going to come here like that, but see, it's continuous because you got the thousand years that's going to be coming here, okay? And the Lord tells us this Ezekiel 25 and 14, it says, And I will lay vengeance upon, upon Edom, the Edomites, the empire of the Edoms, okay? Edomites, the so-called white people, by the hand of my people, Israel. That's 12 tribes. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And they shall do an Edom according to my anger. See, in this state right now, and now we can stay in this mortal body, you know, we see Jessica and Susie and Amy crying, you know, hey, can you feed my kid? We're going to be sorry for them. You, you might not want to take them and dash ahead, dash ahead to the stone and do the things that they have done to us because why? We're righteous people. Okay. But see, this is what this is this is what the Lord is gonna do. He's gonna put the anger of him into his people and says, and according to my fury, and they shall know my vengeance, said the Lord Power. So that's what's gonna take place. Okay? So why are you people cringing when a so called black woman or a so called black man come and say, you know what, maybe if we shed the blood of the so called white people, maybe they will probably start to listen that our blood is important too. It is going to take place. There is no peace here on this earth. The Lord is not coming back to bring peace. Peace is going to go away from here. Everybody on this earth, with the exception of the elect, okay, is going to be fighting for their dug on life. You people have no clue of what is to come here. And this is the reason why you see the hopefully elect us, the man who go and sigh and cry for the destruction of this dug on place, because we don't have we don't have a stake into this place. We don't have a share. We don't give two shits. Honestly, if this place is destroyed tomorrow, I could care less. As long as my ass and the brothers and the aqua, the, the aqua okay, are on those chariots, the one who deserve to go to to be on the chariots and be taken out of this place, okay? So, Lord willing, you will edify, I'd like to close by giving all glory and honor to you. How about Shimei Shai, by Shem, Rakakadash, double honor, said teachers, elders, and apostles of Great Millstone. Also, to you, brothers, that they put on the true faith and the fearless, the sheep, and to you, brothers, and sisters, tuning in. Shalom.